leopard impaled by buffalo breathes his last breath. Out in the wild, one has to hope for the best and prepare for the worst, because the unexpected could catch up with you, as these animals did to these leopards. <laughs> leopards are one of the fastest cats on earth, running up to 58 kilometers per hour with super springs leaping 6 meters forward through the air. I bet you're wondering how on earth it got into these demeaning, life-threatening situations. Let's find out in this video how much of a prey this predator can be and the hidden abilities some animals have that give them the guts to subdue this dreadful predator. Leopards Stabbed by a Buffalo Leopards are very solitary and spend most of their time alone. Did you know they are mostly nocturnal hunters? These ambush predators usually stalk their prey and try to get as close as possible while avoiding detection. Their rosette spots give them a nice camouflage to stealthily approach unsuspecting prey. They usually pounce on their prey, biting down on their necks with their powerful jaws and large teeth, with a bite force of about 500 to 700 psi, over the myth where some people say it's only 310 psi. With this 300 kilogram prey in view, he goes for the younger one, hoping he'd be able to get a decent meal out of it. <laughs> Buffaloes are large animals that can reach 3.35 meters in length and weighing a whopping 300 to 900 kilograms. This leopard goes for the young buffalo who has wandered away from the herd. With a track record of killing more hunters, the leopard ignores that fact and strategically goes for the young buffalo hiding in the bushes. Buffaloes live in herds of a few hundred but have been known to congregate in thousands in the Serengeti during the rainy season. Congregating in large herds is one of their many anti-predator adaptations. Large herds decrease the possibility of any individual being singled out by lions or leopards, as is the case here. Buffalo have an awful sense of sight and hearing, but their scent is well developed. They also seem to have a relatively difficult time regulating body temperature, the reason they feed mostly at night. Although they are quiet for the most part, the animals do communicate. In mating seasons, they grunt and emit hoarse bellows, and a calf in danger will bellow mournfully bringing herd members running at a gallop to defend it. And that is how this feline got a horn stuck in its guts. Rest in peace, feline. Python defeats big cat. Moving on to the next one, pythons. This species of snake is one iconic breed that people have used as inspiration and kept as pets. To take down prey, it bites first, then wraps its powerful coils around the body of its victim, cutting off blood circulation to the brain blocking off airways, and preventing the chest from expanding. At this point, death is inevitable. Pythons can swallow animals larger than themselves because their lower jaw is indirectly attached to their skull, allowing it to expand. Now, this leopard, out to make a kill, is trying hard to avoid its bite. The python thrusts forward, but the leopard leaps about three meters away to protect himself. Now the python reaches out to constrict the leopard, but this speedy feline refuses to be entangled. Not sure why this leopard is sitting instead of fleeing. I would have guessed hypnosis, but snakes do not have charms as many people think. It was a brief battle. The leopard figured he might be the meal if he doesn't back down now. So he walked away disappointed and hungry. Better luck next time, big guy. Leopard kidnapped by an eagle. Not only are eagles majestic creatures, they're also expert hunters. Having an excellent sense of vision and their wingspan is seriously impressive. They have the best eyesight of any living species on our blue and green modeled planet. While soaring at 10,000 feet or 3 kilometers in the air, golden eagles can spot a rabbit munching on grass. An eagle's sight is 13 times better than human eyes, so it could spot the unsuspecting leopard cub. The eagle is not the fastest bird in the world despite what some might think. The peregrine falcon is. With a speed of 389 kilometers per hour, rather than the king whose speed is between 240 and 320 kilometers per hour. With a grip 10 times stronger than a human's, the eagle uses its talons to grab the young cub weighing about one kilogram. The mother who was watching the incident follows the eagle to its nest for her rescue mission. For the record, climbing a tree is a bad idea while running away from a leopard as they are excellent climbers. They are the best wildcats at climbing trees and will get to you. 
no matter how high you climb. They take their kill up a tree to feast on with no disturbance from other predators. They can climb as high as 15.24 meters, jump onto another tree, and climb even further. And this was the tactic employed for this mission. And as predicted, she got dinner for her and her little cub. I bet revenge tastes exquisite. The Leopards Clash Leopards are commonly known to be lone rangers. They do not move in groups like their relatives or lions. This leopard is marking an already marked territory by rubbing her cheeks against the prominent tree trunk. All cats have a scent gland in their cheeks. This leaves a scent mark behind that may persist for some weeks and will be easily detected by other leopards passing by. The leopard occupying this territory perceives an intrusion and heads down to let the intruder know the area is taken, but all to no avail. So they resolve to sort this out violently. In solemn defeat, the intruder walks away shamefully. The Prickly Prey and the Leopard With its razor-sharp quills designed to impale and almost impossible to remove, all animals are aware that the porcupine is not to be messed with. It carries about 30,000 quills underneath its fur, but keeps them flat against its body, but shows off the part where the quills are the densest when threatened. You've probably heard that porcupines shoot their quills at attackers, but that's a myth. They don't. A porcupine's quills are barbed, so they stick into a predator and are difficult to remove. It favors its defensive rear end position by making sure its quills are always facing the threat. The porcupine releases some quills to barb the leopard. When this happens, the porcupine targets the mouth to prevent the animal from chewing or drinking for days. This poor leopard has about 109 quills to take out from its body. Many predators have come down this road and finally accepted that the porcupine is best left alone. Which animal fight did you enjoy the most? Leave us a comment and tell us why.